超过一百万像您这样的纽约居民信赖第一保健，我们满足您的医疗保险需求。第一保健提供您人生每一阶段符合您预算的计划选择，请今天就询问并了解更多资讯。Scientists and health experts all agree that we should eat lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. However, many of us are concerned that those shiny apples and luscious peaches could be covered with pesticides that are toxic for us. Hello and welcome to Health One Plus One. I'm June Fockart. Today, I'm going to talk about why it's much better to eat organic and how you can protect yourself and your family from eating too many pesticides. In the U.S., it's the EPA that regulates pesticides on produce to supposedly safe levels, although some individual states have set their own stricter requirements. Now, however, according to Consumer Reports, a flaw in this regulation process is that when pesticides are tested for toxicity, they are tested in isolation, which means that the safety levels are set for how much of that one pesticide we can safely tolerate. But most conventional fruits and vegetables have more than one pesticide on them, so we don't really know how safe or dangerous these combinations are. And studies have shown that pesticides are detectable in our bodies. A study done at Emory University in Georgia followed a group of preschool and middle school students for about a year. When the children ate non-organic produce, the researchers found traces of pesticides called organophosphates in their urine. In the U.S., organophosphate pesticides account for about half of the pesticides used on food, and they are a type of neurotoxin that kills insects by interfering with their nervous system. And overdoses can kill people. And even more concerning, according to the National Institute of Environmental Health Science, studies in animals showed that even a single low-level exposure to certain organophosphates during particular times of early brain development. Can cause permanent changes in brain chemistry as well as changes in behavior like hyperactivity. Research also suggests that when young children are exposed to these pesticides, it can have lasting effects on learning and attention. So obviously, these pesticides are not something you want your children to be eating. Now, the good news is that when the researchers at Emory fed the children in their study an all-organic diet, after only five days, all traces of these pesticides disappeared. So eating organic does make a big difference. Now, it may not be possible for you to get organic food all the time. So two things you can do to reduce your exposure are: number one, avoid the most contaminated fruits and vegetables, and number two, wash your fruits and vegetables properly. So how can you know whether a fruit or vegetable has a lot of pesticides? Well, thankfully, two organizations, Consumer Reports and the Environmental Working Group, have independently tested produce bought in the U.S. supermarkets, and they've come up with a list of what's most contaminated. Now, these lists are mostly similar, with a few differences. On both lists, apples, peaches, nectarines, and strawberries were the fruits found this year to be the most highly contaminated, and the contaminated vegetable list included. Cherry tomatoes and some imported sugar snap peas and potatoes. So these fruits and vegetables are some that you should really try to buy organic or just avoid them altogether. Now others like avocados, cabbage, and grapefruit were found to have relatively low levels of pesticide residue. So these would be better options if you're buying conventional. Now for the complete list, check out the Pesticides in Produce report by Consumer Reports or visit ewg.org. Now the Environmental Working Group also has an app to make it easy to check pesticide levels while you shop. So you may be thinking that since pesticides are sprayed on, peeling will take them off. But that's not entirely true because some pesticides are systemic, which means that they are absorbed into the plant and transported throughout its whole body. So when bugs eat any part of the plant, they die. And these pesticides definitely end up in the part we eat as well and can't be peeled away. Now, peeling is also not a great option for apples and potatoes because these both have valuable nutrition in the skin. An apple with its skin on has more iron, potassium, fiber, and vitamins E, A, and K than just the flesh of the apple. 
and when you peel a potato, you also lose a good source of fiber, calcium, and iron. So with both of these, it's really best to buy organic. Now, you can also remove some pesticide residue by washing fruits and vegetables. However, there is not strong evidence that chemical sprays or vinegar remove pesticides any better than just plain water, although using either of these won't do any harm. So when you wash produce, use running water and give your fruits and vegetables a good scrubbing. Although be sure that if the fruit is soft flesh like berries, that you don't break the skin. Also, if you're going to discard the peel of fruit like oranges or melons, you still need to wash them well because your knife or your fingers can transfer any bacteria on the skin onto the part that you will eat. So the next time you're in the store and you have sticker shock at the price of organic food, remember that fruits and vegetables, whether organic or not, have huge benefits and it's much better to eat conventional ones than skip them altogether. Thank you for joining me and remember health is wealth and we do need to invest.